Now, in the subscription response, we would also like to have the user's name in the data that is returned. This is possible by creating a relationship from online users to the users table. So let's go to data tab and in online users view, let's create a relationship. It would be an object relationship since it's a one-to-one -one relationship. Let's enter the relationship name as user. The current column would be ID. The remote table would be users and the remote table column would be ID. Let's click on add. All right, the relationship has been created from the view online users to the ID column of the users table. Let's test this by going to graphical and making a query which involves a relationship. Right. Okay, the data is empty, so let's go ahead to the users table and modify the last seen value for the user ID 1. I click on save, I switch to the API Explorer and as you can see the response now also returns the user's ID and name in the same object.